mai ngàn không trăm mười bay hương tho tám mươi ai tuổi hello I had the fortunate opportunity to visit a Buddhist temple for my site presentation. When arriving at the temple, we were immediately greeted by the head monk, Abat Tin Man. He then sat down with us for a short interview, which I will share with you in a moment. After the interview, we were given some time to explore the temple and its beautiful surroundings before the Vietnamese ceremony started. The ceremony was full of teachings, chants, and worships and lasted about two hours. After the ceremony, we were invited into another room to share a meal with the people of the temple. During our interview with the head monk, Abat Tin Man, he explained how music and instruments were very significant during the ceremony. They use instruments such as singing bowls, damarus, and bells. These instruments are used to lead the chants. Uh, music is part of like, our ritual. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, when we have big ceremony, we have like... Uh, uh, Eight monks and one master monk, they play different kind of instruments, different drums and everything. Okay. He then clarified that worshipping can be done both inside and outside. The temple has a Buddha up the mountain where they commonly hold ceremonies at different times during the year. So you can worship outside? Yeah, we have a big Buddha statues on the mountain in the back and we walk up okay. about That's five neat. minutes up there. Okay. Big one, the recline and the big... When looking at the worship area, I noticed three statues. One of them I knew was Buddha, but wasn't sure what the other two symbolized. Tinman explained their meanings, saying the statues on the sides had pictures of loved ones who had passed to show their respect, males on one side and females on the other. On the right is uh, Avalokitesvara, which is uh, a mother of compassion, okay. compassionate mother. Okay. Compassionate mother, and then the, on the left one is uh, we call Siddhagaba is uh, representing the earth, earth storage okay. or the mind, representing the mind. Luckily, Tin Man explained to us before the ceremony started on how to greet other members. By simply crossing your hands and bowing, you are sharing a lotus with whoever you are greeting. This greeting shows respect, and when I greeted a few people before the ceremony, they were happy to show their respects to me with a smile. Mofak, that means a uh, uh, lotus for you, a Buddha to me. Oh, so okay. We offer everyone a lotus. So then you bow? Yeah, you bow. Bow respect. So respect. we respect, respect the nature of uh, awakening within everybody. Okay. It's very deep. Lotus. Unlike many other worship areas, a Buddhist temple has cushions to sit on instead of chairs or pews. When meditating, you must sit with your back straight and hands crossed on the cushion. Awesome. And then, what is the proper, like, is there a sitting position for meditation? Yeah, you, uh, we have cushion there, and then you sit on a cushion. And okay. Then, and you sit with your back upright, yeah, and allow yourself to relax. I will give that guidance along the okay. time. Okay. And As we go on. Yeah, okay. what you should do and how you generate your mind. Okay. The ceremony in which I attended in the video was geared towards repentance. Tin Man shares teachings and the members worship their loved ones who have passed. This ceremony was held inside, however we were told we could go outside to meditate after the ceremony had ended. The ceremony is we call beginning anew, I mean uh, in, in uh, the Christian we call uh, repentance. Okay. And then, uh, and then after that I give some Dharma talk, Okay. Dharma teachings. And then after that, we rise offering to our um, to honor and uh, some of their our fam our members that have family member passing away. Mm -hmm. So we offer a rice ceremony. So to conclude, this experience to me was very fulfilling and worth it. I learned so much about the Buddhist traditions because we were there indulging in their teachings with real members. If I had the opportunity to go back, I definitely would because of the tranquility and the environment. The environment was my favorite part about the temple. It was surrounded by trees, waterfalls, and statues. I could see how Buddhists really become one with nature, as their temples are usually surrounded by it. I can truly say now, I have a better understanding on Buddhist tradition, and I hope you do too. Thank you for listening.